Oh, what did I do? No. Oh my gosh, what is going on? What did I do? Oh, I put on the hazards. Where's the hazards? I got a new car. Oh. I don't know how to turn the hazards. Oh. Oh. Okay, you're not gonna believe this, but we just had an earthquake. I was on the phone with my daughter, who is in a different city than I am in upstate New York. And as I was talking to her, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. And I had her stop talking. Initially, it felt like as if, you know, maybe my cat was sitting underneath my chair and was just going like this. And then I looked at my mirror, which I was sitting in front of my mirror, and I saw my mirror moving. And I'm like, I think we're getting an earthquake. <laughs> Right now, the reports say that the earthquake is like out of New Jersey, <clears throat> out of New Jersey, uh, but it's being felt all across upstate New York, uh, New Jersey. Somebody said they felt it in Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, my gosh, but it wasn't strong. Um, it didn't feel like it was like a crazy earthquake. I mean, I've lived in Alaska, so I know what a crazy earthquake is. Um, but no, it didn't feel like a crazy one, but yeah, we had an earthquake. So I looked at that as a sign to go thrifting. <laughs> That's not true. I was going to go thrifting no matter what, but you know, it is a sign now. So I am now here at uh, Salvation Army. Let's go inside. I haven't been to this one in months. Let's see what they have. Hopefully they have some more of these granny square uh, blankets that I can turn into a jacket. Isn't this cute? It's so fun. All right, let's go. As soon as I got in the store, I headed straight for the linen section. And look what I found. It was so well done. The only thing, not enough. So I left it behind. You need to have more fabric to deal with. So while I was over there, I figured I'd take a look at all of the different sheets and blankets. And, you know, I just look at this area as a fabric section. And I think a lot of crafters do as well because there's some really great fabrics out there. Now this right here, I loved it. It was a little scratchy, but the big thing that deterred me from buying it, it had a big stain. Then I went over to the home goods section, the decor section, actually. I thought that this was a crochet or knitters crafty thing where you can hold the skeins of yarn and all kinds of stuff. Come to think of it, I think it was a toilet paper holder. And then I liked this. This was a Hager pottery piece, but it had a chip. And then I walked past the children's section. I saw this scarf, immediately thought that it was handmade, but it had a tag on it. It wasn't. Showing off my little sweater that I made. And then I was looking at the purses. This is so cute and it's actually dead stock, but it's definitely worn. Like it's, the colors are fading and then there's a stain on the back, but this would have been cute. Hmm. What is this? Another vintage. This bag is in good condition, but it's H&M, so it's just pleather. I did find a second one of these. It is much more worn. They're only $1.99, and I think that they'd be great for my, like, crochet projects. Put them with, you know, your utensils or whatever you need for them. I don't know. We'll hold on to both of them, and we'll make a decision. This right here is 
by B. Mikowski, but it's made in China, so I don't know if it's necessarily anything specific uh, or good quality, but it's worth checking. I loved this set of coffee mugs. You know how I have a thing for coffee mugs, but I resisted, I didn't need it, and I left it behind. I like looking for little holders for jewelry or, you know, just your hair ties or anything, and I thought these were really cute. There was a lot of stuff on the shelves in this area, but I wasn't quite sure about the quality of everything I saw. I do have a Christmas village and I initially thought about getting this but I thought to myself you know what I didn't even pull out the village this year so what are you thinking Jody? Look at that that's me with my hair curly. <laughs> I really did like this buffalo zip up. These are the kind of sweaters you can make. You literally get a couple different sweaters and sew them together. Zara. A perfectly good sweater, and then you distress it. Okay. I loved this vintage sweater. I should have picked it up. Didn't even think about it. It was too small, but I could have made it into a shirt or something. I should go back. But it's been about a week since I shot this video. You think it's still there? My favorite section to look at is the sweater section, but I'll be honest with you, I don't wear sweaters very often. This retro shirt was really cute, but it was Zara. So it was actually something new. It wasn't vintage and it wasn't retro. It just was, I don't know, modern Zara. I love looking in the skirt section, but I'll be honest with you, bottoms are hard for me to find in the thrift. Look at that. That's me on the beach right there. <laughs> I somehow thought that this would look cute on. <laughs> it's soft, it's really nice and comfy, but it's definitely not cute. And it doesn't cover your arms, so it's not really warm. Yeah, I feel like this one looks a little bit better. It's by Loft and it's $5.99 and I still don't think it looks cute on. This is really soft, it's chenille. It does cover your arms, it's $3.99. Here are the items I've decided to leave behind. I was going to get this blanket so I could turn it into some kind of jacket or something but I know I'm not going to get to it same with this Pokemon blanket uh, as much as I like how this feels I don't think it looks cute on me unfortunately same with this sweater and this one so those are the items I'm leaving behind all right I just got done thrifting so I'm going to go through what I ended up getting so one of these was in pretty good condition and uh it was only $1.99. So I ended up getting both of them, even though this one's not as in good of condition. I think I can condition the leather, at least make it look a little bit better. They were both $1.99. I wish this one would have been cheaper because it wasn't as a good a shape, but it's really good leather and, you know, nice inside. So, you know, as a crocheter or knitter, you want to have like a package that goes with each one of your projects. So that way you don't, you know, lose your needles and, if you want to go on the go, you can, you know, put your scissors and stuff like that in there. So that's what these are going to be for. And they're in such good condition that you can tell they're vintage. So I got these two. They're like little hand purses. So this one has, oh no, they both have it. They both have little hand uh, carriers. So I got that. Uh, the J. Crew beach shirt just spoke to me. <laughs> it was only $1.50. It was on sale is too cute. Listen, I'm a beach girl. That's what I learned. I got to lean into it, right? I love summer. 
So I got that for $1.50. I ended up getting this really great Lord & Taylor cashmere sweater for $3.99. $3.99 for a beautiful cashmere sweater. Love it. It's in perfect condition. Very soft. And then I ended up getting that Buffalo zip up. Buffalo State zip up. I mean, it was $8. I don't think it was on sale. My total expenditure was $14.15. So this is probably a little splurge, but I'm pretty happy with my haul.